We begin tonight with disturbing, unthinkable images shared between a Fort Campbell soldier and his wife. It lands the couple in federal prison. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to News 2 at 6. I'm Bob Mueller. Kara Adkins was sentenced to more than 20 years, her husband Robert, to 10 for child pornography crimes. We have learned Robert Adkins was an automated logistical specialist and a staff sergeant who served about 16 years. News 2's Stephanie Langston spoke with one investigator with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. She joined us now in studio with details. Steph. Well, Bob, horrendous. That's how Lieutenant Mark Hornerick describes this case that included sexual abuse material of infants, toddlers, and young children. It's something that you should never have to see or experience. It was a cyber tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children that led investigators to the home of Kara and Robert Adkins. But those with Montgomery County Sheriff's Office didn't expect to walk in and uncover what they did. As an investigator, you know, you walk into these cases already at the mindset that this is an unbelievable allegation that you're going to investigate. When you go in and you actually discover that the children in real life sitting there that were depicted in these horrendous just outrageous images and positions. It's it's unthinkable. 38 year old Kara Atkins was not only found to be in possession of several hundred images of child sexual abuse, but Lieutenant Mark Winarek says she was producing, manufacturing, trading and abusing children right there inside the family's home. According to court records, Kara and her husband used a texting application to communicate with each other while he was deployed in Korea. Detailed and explicit chats that included discussing prior, current, and future sexual abuse of five different children. Winark saying the FBI and military CID investigated case details in Korea where Robert was stationed while they focused on his wife in Montgomery County. It's an unfortunate victory. I think the investigators going into this case um, they expected just to find some child pornography on a system and not really able to find the actual perpetrators of it. And so to be able to actually locate somebody who was manufacturing, make that arrest, and then link it all the way back halfway around the globe into a second arrest, I think is pretty outstanding police work. That included work from the FBI, the U.S. Army CID, and the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. Bob.